My name is Mike Ruma. I'm a maternal fetal medicine specialist. I work at Perinatal Associates in New Mexico. And what we're going to talk about today is the Epic and Affinity ultrasound platforms, the latest release of software, which incorporates a variety of new features. And we're going to use this uh, new tool that sculpts and removes the extraneous uh, information that we have on the side, uterus and placenta, and that's called A-Reveal. And watch what A-Reveal will do to this volume. It helps to illuminate and show the face off in a quick fashion without having to sculpt any information. Touch view is very interesting because instead of using rotational knobs to change the volume, you can simply use your hand. And not only can I rotationally use two fingers to move this uh, in a, a Z plane like that, I can use a single uh, finger to move the volume in an X as well as Y plane. And then we are gonna bring up touch view to be able to put the light and drag the light for the patient yourself uh, around the volume in an intuitive fashion, just like any smartphone at home. You can double click and place the light in multiple different places. And you can also bring the depth of the light in to provide some unique shadows and illumination to the fetal face. I can also rotate the baby using 3D touch view. You can see how the shadows move in a realistic fashion, in a very smooth and fluid fashion using touch view available on the Philips Epic and Affinity systems. True view is quite remarkable. You really get a, a true sense of what it would look like in absolute photorealistic fashion. The colorings, the shading, the tones are truly uh, realistic. When we move to true view uh, imaging, we have this uh, pink hue that alone is simply coloring. But as you can see, what I, I've done here is I've brought the light actually within the left ventricle using the depth capacity, which is unique to true view uh, and allows the light to move, enter on, along a Z axis. And the light here in the left ventricle, as we've placed it there, allows us to see an illuminated uh, left ventricle, the mitral valve. And what's very interesting to me is that the light actually penetrates into the left atrium, illuminates the top portion of the wall of the left atrium, but does not at all enter the right ventricle with no penetration through the ventricular septum, so that the light is actually acting as it really would if I put an orb of light within the actual cardiac volume. This personally helps me have a bit more confidence that there is no evidence of ventricular septal defect, and if there were, we would anticipate seeing light emanate into the right ventricle. So as we see glass view uh, and we move into glass view analysis from true view, I think of glass view as looking at kind of a plaster of Paris poured into the cardiac volume and then removing the cardiac myocardium and being able to look into the chambers, the volume of the chambers, uh, kind of in a translucent fashion. For me, what I can identify here is a left ventricle. I can see the uh, aorta leaving the left ventricle, the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery leaving. But what's particularly important uh, in this imaging is that there should not be any uh, fluid coursing across or any evidence of a chamber coursing across the intraventricular septum and I actually do not see that uh, which I believe is a good thing again helping us provide clinical confidence that this is an intact intraventricular septum uh, and that this is a normal uh, cardiac uh, septum present in this volume and that uh, to me is one area in which glass view can shine and provide some clinical confidence for uh, you and your patient. Philips has provided us with tools that uh, were incredibly useful, faster, better image quality. We are seeing an evolution of ultrasound, which is truly remarkable. The advances are truly useful. They are helping us with efficiency. They're helping us with detailed image quality and providing the patient an incredibly enriched 3D volumetric experience. And I can't wait to see what the future is gonna hold.